A government that must live in fear of its people is a tyrannical government. What I'm talking about here is, in America, we have this problem where we have a government that has this idea that we must all be watched all the time. They must know everything about us. They need our information. They need to monitor us, check our phone calls, watch us. You know, PRISM. I'm sure you've heard of it, and if you haven't, look it up. It's an acronym, of course. Um, and in general, we have a government now that... <sighs> Big Brother. That's the only way I can put it. They just want to play that role we're always watching. We're right behind your shoulder. And why? Why do they need to do that? That's, I think, the key critical question that we all need to figure out. Why is the government afraid of us? And the given reason is terrorism, right? You know, we have to watch everybody everywhere all the time because somebody out there somewhere could be a terrorist. Ooh, scary, oogity boogity. And they're real. Don't get me wrong, terrorists are real. They explode stuff. There's been bombings recently and mass shootings and stuff. And all of these things can be called acts of terror because people are scared shitless by them as they should be. However, guess what? You cannot ever actually prevent these things. Ever. You can ameliorate them. You can lessen the chances of them. But you can never actually fully prevent these things. Short of basically having a chip in every single person's head that lets all of their thoughts, as soon as they think them, be understood and read by some agency somewhere. Short of that, where then, what's the purpose of being an independent human being at that point? What's the purpose of any of it then? If everything is always monitored forever by everyone and nothing is sacred, nothing is secret or to the self, what are we doing? What, what, what's the point of all of this then? But to take this back to a practical level, not waxing on philosophically, we have a government right now that needs and it feels compelled to watch us all the time, to understand everything about what we're thinking, doing, saying. And the government basically is scared shitless of its own people. And when that occurs, well, the government is going to become tyrannical by default. When you are scared of something to the point that you're going to do everything in your power to keep it in check, it is your enemy, is it not? When you're scared of something, you have to take steps to stop it. It's a bad thing to your vision. And you could say quite simply then, the people having freedom has become a bad thing to the government. It's now a liability is what it seems like, where us having the ability to have a free and unmonitored conversation is dangerous. So... Why are we dangerous as a people? I don't get that. And I think, you know, we can all be outraged by it, of course, as we should be. We can all be outraged by being monitored all the time and being poked at and not being trusted by our government in any way, shape, or form. But more important than outrage, we should have quizzicalness. We should try to understand why this has happened and when did we let it happen? Because that's the other big deal. We pretty much let this happen. And you could say, oh, well, they did it secretly and clandestinely. Yes, they did, to a point. However, we all know about it. We all know it's happening. No one's going to sit there and say, well, the government says it's not monitoring us, so they're not. No one's saying that. We all understand the truth here, all of us, you, me, everybody. We get that we are being watched by the government and that we're pretty much being spied on. And I can pretty much tell, based on current conversation, how everybody feels about it. We hate it, and we think it's stupid. At least most of us. There's some people that say, well, eh, you don't have anything to hide, do you? Well, no. No, I don't, except for, you know, maybe the things I don't want you to know. Like how many times I jerk off. The sweet nothings I whisper into my lover's ear. You don't need to know that shit, so back the fuck off, right? I don't need to hide that for some nefarious purpose. I just don't want you to know. So back up off it. Is that unreasonable? Is that scary? Is that something that makes me a criminal for wanting to hide it? No. And just like with everybody else, most of the resentment we have to being intruded upon comes not from some nefarious secret thing we're hiding, but from the fact that, well, you're in our personal space. What are you doing here? Get out. So let's all try to figure out where things went wrong, what we can do about it, and why 
the government feels the need to be terrified of all of us, pretty much. We, who are the government, mind you, the government of the people, by the people, for the people, need I remind you, why have we become the enemy to the government? And what can we do to fix this problem? Just something to think about.